Okay, I'm going to appear pretty soon inside this image. Here you are looking at the Sony 6700. The Sigma 16mm is connected, which translates to 24mm in APS-C. Here was the A7 IV, which is filming the A6700 right now. There is 45mm connected. When you look at my scale, this is a comparison between these two image angles, but we are going to do an AI comparison now. Um, it's the internal AI of the A6700 versus the Hohem iSteady MT2, which is a hardware gimbal. And I'm going to move it over here. Please don't worry the focus, I set it to slow focus mode. And now we have not really the same angle of view, but uh, they are focusing or gazing into the same direction, these two cameras. The angle of view of A7 IV, okay, it's much more narrow, but the A6700 starts to crop in as soon as it will start to track me. So now I will uh, enter the stage here. And most probably the A6700 is going to start tracking me. And I'm going to ask the Hohem iSteady now to also track me. Both cameras, uh, let's go back to the technical data. They're recording in 4K. 30 pictures per second, 30 frames, and Sony suggests for this auto-tracking AI mode to record in HD instead, because they say that when the transgression between different images in zoom modus, there may be some kind of uh, irritations, but I want to directly compare 4K to 4K. Okay, uh, and now the A6700 was just turning off. Even though it's standing in the shadow, that's really sad. Uh, I think it's not really uh, nice to work like that. But anyway, to explain you the Hohem I study a little bit further. So this was the rec uh, tracking gesture. I think I'm not really happy with this AI because here is another gesture which is supposed to start the reframing process, but I don't know what is the point and why that happens. It's not really reliable to my mind. I will try one more. I will get a little bit closer. Officially it's set between 50 centimeters and 1.5 meters. I will change my position now. So now it should work and she should understand that I am trying to reframe myself in two-thirds rule. Okay, so now finally the AI unit understood that I was supposed to be tracked. So this is the two functions available and uh, in the end we have also a stop gesture. This means, okay, now it is uh, locked again but we still have to wait for the A6700. Now we are back. Both cameras are online. I hope the A6700 could relax well. I have to admit it's pretty hot today. I mean, one of the hottest days we have uh, in the summer. Now I'm also going to recall the AI tracker of the a7 IV. Uh, let me get back to the technical data. 
I have identical settings. It's picture profile number 11. Uh, recording with 4000 frames per second. And just because there is such an intense light situation today, uh, the aperture is 5.6 ISO on automatic mode on both cameras. I want to add additionally that with the A6700, this tracking AI which is included here, it is set to medium so that it is not tracking too close on my face because then we wouldn't have any 4K information left. Sony suggests to film only in HD, which could be also helpful for the A6700 because then maybe it's not heating up so fast because it has to calculate less. And it's also in order to avoid these artifacts which we were already speaking about. Anyway, just you compare the 4K images and you tell me which one you like more. I would also be interested if you say, no, no, this is completely not an option for me to carry around all this kind of external gear besides the camera. I prefer the A6700 uh, setup, for example, which has everything included in its software. So what is the priority now? Is it about the very good picture quality or is it about uh, being just uh, light and practical. Uh, by the way, sorry about my strange haircut today. I will do uh, one power lift here and let's see if the trackers are still following me. Yes, even the A7 IV on this gimbal is still tracking me. Before there was another take where it didn't function. Now I'm going to hide behind uh, this little green uh, plant here. I will go down a little bit further and uh, jump to the side. Let's check. Ah, now you see the A7 IV or the gimbal uh, tracking this camera lost me. So let's just catch uh, the image back. And so what's your uh, comments on the situation? Does it look interesting? Which image do you prefer? And uh, yeah, I mean, it's never sure if I'm speaking to one person or to many, because I never know who is sitting behind uh, the other side of the screen and how many of you is there. So I think it Hopefully it was uh, useful for you. I will produce many more videos referring the A6700 and also A74 next in this uh, theater here. I would be happy to receive a like and besides that enjoy and see you soon.